doing or to go to do or again to go and do or maybe to go do are all of these forms correct and if they are should I use them in different contexts well let's see that together <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Ad Mayora for my new video about the English language, English grammar. Well, actually we're going to talk about an expression which is very very common and it is the verb to go followed by another verb. Well, this other verb uh, can be found in different forms. Like for example, I go doing something, so the ing form, uh, I go I go to do something, so the to infinitive form, I go and do something, so the verb to go and and the other verb, or again, I go do something, so the base form of the second verb. Well, uh, these forms are basically all uh, correct, well not really, I mean they're all used a lot by native speakers, okay, but the last one, and we're gonna see that, is um, incorrect uh, as far as the grammar is concerned, but it is used a lot, especially in, um, in, in the US and spoken language. But uh, each one of these forms uh, has a specific context, so let's see all of them, okay, one by one let's explain with a few examples when we should use them. So the first one, the verb to go followed by the ing form, so I go doing something. This is absolutely correct and we can use it or we should use it uh, for general activities, so hobbies or activities in general uh, which are not defined. When I say that, that they're not defined I mean that they're not a specific event or a specific moment, I'm not going to do something specific in a place or in a, uh, whatever, uh, but it's something just quite general, okay, a general activity. Examples, last weekend they went fishing. Yeah, of course I got a span of time because I'm talking about last weekend, but this is not a specific event, I'm not talking about a specific moment, this is something they did, okay, a quite general activity. Um, another example is, shall we go shopping? Of course I'm asking you if we can go <laughs> out and, and uh, have some shopping together, but also in this case it's not a specific event or something or there are, I mean, so many other examples, okay, I, I, I go, I usually go swimming, okay, in summer, so this is something that I usually do, so this is obviously a general activity, it's obviously a hobby in this case, why not? Um, I am uh, emphasizing this aspect, okay, of, I mean, the fact that these actions must be quite generic, because the second alternative, the second possibility, so to go plus to infinitive form, is actually used for action which are very specific. So it's the opposite, basically. Specific events, specific actions, um, if you, um, look for this explanation on websites, the Oxford website for example, you will find uh, as an explanation the fact that uh, the go plus to infinitive is used for actions that have a clear beginning and a clear end. This is obviously true, uh, but this um, explanation can be a bit misleading because also in this case when I say last weekend they went fishing, you may tell me, okay, this has a specific beginning and the end because I got a specific time here. Well, what they want, what they really mean here is that uh, um, in this case I'm talking about a specific event, okay, and so usually I also have a specific time. In this case I'm talking about general actions, so of course I may have a, a quite loose definition of time, okay, but that's absolutely not specific, so this is, I think, the, the easiest explanation. An example here is we went to watch the tennis final. That specific match, 
okay at that specific time in that specific place <laughs> okay and um, in this case it would be absolutely wrong uh, to put we went watching okay we went watching uh, we went watching the, the the tennis final this is wrong okay so in this case it is specific so i can't use the in form i have to use the to infinitive form just uh, to make it a bit clear uh, on the other hand i would say we usually go watching tennis together why because this is again a general activity we usually do that we go watching tennis together so in this case i go back to um, the situation number one so i got the ing form here okay it's not a completely wrong to say we usually go to watch tennis together i i may eventually say that but what is absolutely wrong and it's a complete mistake is to say we went watching the tennis final this is downright wrong now third the third alternative here go and and the other verb go or eventually come i mean come and go it's pretty much the same situation okay so i can uh, in this case I, i'm talking about the verb to go but this is pretty much the same thing with the verb to come this is quite uh, something that we learn at school a lot okay uh, and it's absolutely correct um, again if you go and check you see i just use that if you go and check the explanation on many websites like oxford and many others you may find uh, out that this situation this structure here is used when uh, or at least with a specific list of verbs many many different verbs like for example ask buy check collect do find get try have there are many 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 more so obviously we can't remember all of them so we can say that all these verbs have something in common they are basically tasks okay so when i say go plus a task or if i say have lunch okay this is not a task really but an action i am actually performing somehow so in this case uh, i tend to use this structure here examples again so i go and ask her i go and ask her so i have to go there if i say i go to ask her that's not absolutely wrong it is possible in this case i'll go asking her is obviously wrong because it's not a general activity okay it's not a hobby it's something specific it's a task so this is something that is usually um, used with the and in the middle Again, uh, I need to go and buy some food. I need to go and buy some food means that I need to go out in order to buy some food. So basically, um, also in this case, it's a specific, it's a specific task. Uh, you should go and find another job. Okay, go and find. So your task is to find another job in this case. This structure is absolutely uh, correct. Um, it's absolutely fine and uh, you may find it in uh, British English or, 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 or American English and that's absolutely and completely um, right. But uh, we can say that it's not used so much uh, in American English and especially when they're talking. Native speakers, especially in America, will never or I'm very rarely say I go and ask. They would, they would rather say I go ask. So the form they use is the go and the base form of the verbs, the infinitive without to. So basically they leave out and in the middle. Obviously it's not correct from, I mean, as far as grammar is concerned, it's, it's, it's a mistake, but it's absolutely used. I'm talking about spoken language here. Obviously when we talk about social media or texts or even emails and all these things, we tend to use a language, of course we write, but it's a language that quite quite similar to uh, the spoken language and so um, these expressions are used anyway 
um, you have to be aware that they're not correct, okay, they're not standard expressions. But anyway, that's absolutely very, very common, especially in America. They will never say, I'll go and try, they would rather say, I'll go try, okay. Uh, I, I don't know, I'm walking uh, around, okay, at home uh, at night uh, and uh, my husband asks, uh, oh, you're, you're not sleeping, you haven't slept yet. Yeah, no, I'll go try. Okay, obviously it's not I go, uh, it should be I go and try, but I'd say just I go try. And again, uh, you should go get the keys. You should go get the keys. Get the keys is a task, obviously. And uh, I know that the uh, correct form should be you should go and get the keys, but what you usually hear is you should go get the keys. Uh, again, we'll go have lunch together, okay, we'll go have lunch, we'll go ha and have lunch together, it's something that you will never hear, okay, ever. The verb have belongs to the least because we know that it doesn't always mean that I am, I've got something, okay, so possession, but I also use it in order to perform actions, like in this case, have lunch, have dinner, have a shower, or whatever, so it definitely belongs to the least. So, we'll go have lunch is much more used than I will go and have lunch together. It's something absolutely um, quite unusual. So I move away from the whiteboard so you can see uh, the four alternatives together. Again, go plus inform for general activities or general actions, uh, go plus to infinitive for specific events or actions, go and plus the verb, base form of course, um, for uh, especially for these uh, verbs here and this long list of verbs which generally talking express uh, uh, tasks and finally go plus base form which is basically the equivalent but uh, it's US English American English and it's used only or should be used only in spoken language all right, I hope it was useful. This is a very, very common expression and I hope you can uh, uh, put some context there and uh, maybe it's easier for you to understand when you should use the four alternatives. Thank you so very much for following and uh, again, if you haven't uh, um, subscribe the, the channel, please do it and click on the bell to be always updated about our lessons. Uh, it's not just English, but it's uh, German and it's literature and so much more. So stay tuned, thank you so very much for following and take care.